This Thanksgiving, we've got a new look at history as we mark 400 years since the Pilgrims reached America on the Mayflower, with indigenous people included as a partner in anniversary events for the first time. Nancy Chen reports from Massachusetts. A newly restored Mayflower II returned to Plymouth, Massachusetts this summer, nearly 400 years after pilgrims aboard the namesake original first arrived on these shores. Michelle Pecoraro is the executive director of Plymouth 400, a nonprofit commemorating the national legacy. This year, the group welcomed a new partner, the indigenous people living in the area when the pilgrims arrived. We have Wampanoag board members, we have a Wampanoag advisory committee made up of uh, native people. So it is the first real um, attempt to have a historically accurate and a culturally inclusive commemoration. A member of the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe, Steve Peters, created an exhibit for Plymouth 400 called Our Story. It sort of marks the beginning of the end um, for, for my people here. You know, it's important that, that people understand it so that they can start to be a little bit more humane and compassionate. Members of the Wampanoag Nation and the Pilgrims came together after the next fall's harvest, what we now call Thanksgiving. They lived side by side for 50 years until war broke out, devastating the Wampanoag and their way of life. Peters plans to mark this 400-year milestone with a traditional feast, but he'll also be remembering the sacrifice of his forefathers. We give thanks for our ancestors' ability to persevere in spite of every obstacle that's been faced in front of them over the past 400 years since the European arrival and the colonization of this country. History offering a lesson in gratitude and perseverance four centuries later. Is that right?